Hi, my name's Daryl. Welcome to the Garden of E de Vista. I'm going to take you on a little tour this morning, show you a few things of this paradise here that we're trying to create for ourselves. Uh, it's middle, it's coming into summer, right? We're getting into the middle of the summer, so we're putting the, uh, the plants that do well in the heat. We've got cabbage here. We put a little beans in, okay? Whenever something in the garden goes, uh, uh, whenever something in the garden goes to its maturity and it's all through, uh, we're done with it. We're done harvesting the, the uh, fruit off it. We take that fruit out, take the plant out, and we replant it with something else. This thing is going to produce right through the winter for us. Uh, we've also got uh, uh, we've got some special tomatoes in here. These these grow a little bit bigger, as you can see. But these are these are pretty laden down right now with tomatoes. This is a great year for growing tomatoes in my mind. Usually in the morning, come out and uh, pick the fruit that's ready for the day. And uh, we've got a couple of cucumbers here ready. I think there's something inherent to my bean, okay, that pushes me toward uh, the gardening thing, the farming thing, the plant thing. So I have this great love for plants. Uh, I like growing my own food. Uh, I think it's some of the best food that you can possibly get. Uh, it tastes better than anything you can buy in the store or because you can walk into your backyard right at night and say, hey, I'm gonna make a salad out of this stuff that's right here. Take it in, cut it up, and eat it immediately. The thing I like best about gardening is watching either the fruit or the flowers come into maturity, right? I believe that uh, everything that God's put on the earth is for God's glory, right? So these things that are on the earth, God intends them to reach to a certain point of maturity. And when they reach that maturity, I think that that's when God's glory is totally manifested in the thing that he put on the earth. So I kind of liken that uh, when I look at plants, when I look at flowers in, in their prime, right? I'm picking fruit. I'm looking at uh, flower, the beauty of a flower. I'm always thinking about that's God's intent for me. God's intent for me is to mature on the earth to display his complete glory uh, to those things around me so that the people around me can benefit from, uh, from me as an individual, right? Having, having God manifested himself through me and uh, displayed to the world, I think that's what God's intent is for us uh, as, as humans on the earth. So I look at gardening, I look at plants as a display of what God's intent is across the entire earth right uh, that everything would come into its glory and everything would uh, uh, would be a benefit to those around it and God would be praised for for all of these great things that that we see